Alrighty, so I decided I was going to work on this uh, partial Edmontosaurus uh, vertebrae. And when I opened up the aluminum foil jacket, uh, it did not survive the ride home very well at all. Despite the foil wrapping and riding home on a cushion, uh, just the minor vibrations is all it took. Um, but it, it's all repairable. We have here a process that was coming off this way that was already gone on extraction. We have a partial process. This is the neural spine and we have a process coming off of the side here. That is these two parts. So what I did, um, these, a couple extra associated bits with them that'll go back. I took all these broken ends and applied uh, a penetrating uh, stabilizer to them so they won't fall apart any further. They, they're fairly well stabilized now as well as the, the ends on here. So what I'm going to do is instead of working out here in the unair conditioned shed I'm going to take this back in the house where it's nice and cool and I can work on it there. All right, so this is where we're at right now. Got the majority of all of the matrix off of it. What is still on there is bits that were super glued on in the field in order to reattach and stabilize the broken bit parts that were visible. But we're mostly there. It's just going to take a little bit more work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out to the soda blaster and we're going to clean up all of the exposed surfaces and then I will put on a sealer 
to help stabilize it so that there's no more flaking. It'll seal up some of those cracks. And then we will work on taking off the glued on parts. That will take a little bit more work, but we're gonna get there. Okay, so I finally got this uh, prep finished out here. Uh, it's not 100%, I've, I'd call it about maybe 98, 99%. There are a few little details that I would still like to go in and uh, finish repairing. Some of the little bits I would still like to uh, finish up on here. Some of these breaks, and there's a few little divots of missing bone. I'd, I like to go in with some epoxy and fill those in like I've done on some of the others. I don't even know if this will show up on the video. There's um, some missing uh, sections from the brake here that have been replaced. Uh, there's some missing bits in here that have been replaced with epoxy along with a few holes here. These here have uh, been filled with epoxy just to strengthen them. So, you know, like some of these little holes, these cracks in here, make it look a lot better. But I am not 100%. I haven't, haven't done it yet. I may not. I don't know. As mentioned before, this is a partial vertebrae from an Edmontosaurus. This is probably Edmontosaurus and Nectans. This is the neural arch right here. And this is the neural spine. And these are the processes coming off the side. Now what is missing off this is the uh, centrum right here. And I kind of made up a mock-up to give you an idea of what the uh, completed fossil size would have been and it most likely would have been you know, kind of a elongated centrum kind of about like that all right now if you remember from the video when i was uncovering this this was sitting in this kind of position right here actually it would have been about like that this was facing this was the edge of the uh, rock face wall right here. So this, uh, whatever, this may have been complete originally. It may have had some predepositional breaking, but when I found it, that was already gone. This was in situ. This was already broken. So this was a predepositional break. And it has one complete process coming off. It's just missing a couple little sections now one thing uh, I don't know if it came out too well in the actual uh, prepping video but this was extremely uh, fractured and I'm not sure if that's even showing up in the video this is full of fractures and every time that I uncovered a new bit of bone I was having to consolidate it to keep it from coming apart and once I had it completely uncovered, I had to comp I had to really soak this in a lot of consolidant because it was so porous and so highly fractured. You can see these were attached. These never came off, but there there's some very serious break lines in there that look like they were about to fall off. Uh, fractures running through here. This was one of the parts that was came off. Uh, after I recovered it. So this has been repaired. This has been 
reattached here. Now, if I had any kind of uh, good modeling skills, I would duplicate this and extend it out over here on this side here, uh, ju just to give a better look of it, uh, how it originally was. And one interesting thing about this, you can you can tell the the natural breaks in it are very jagged. These so these obviously happened after the fossil after the the bone was exposed originally as it was tumbled down the river to be deposited it was getting it was getting broken apart but where the centrum is missing from this is not rough breakage the rounded corner the rounded edges of all this really kind of remind me of uh bone healing recalcification so i'm wondering if possibly this might have been something that happened to it while it was alive some kind of injury that broke the centrum from this uh, neural spine and then this is the rehealing again that's just a guess based on what i see i guess well, that's one of those things that you'll never know <laughs> that is not the sound that these made. Uh, this is uh, uh, what the Admonosaurus look like. Uh, this is probably not the Enectans. I don't believe the Enectans had uh, that crest on their head. But this is the same general body uh, style of the Admonosaurus, uh, also known as the Duckbill. So this vertebrae here, this would have been a dorsal vertebrae which means it would have come out, it would have been somewhere in this part of the body here. These vertebrae would have been cervical, these are caudal, and the ones on the back are the dorsal. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of what I post in the future, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody else who would like to see this video, please share it. Alright, thanks for watching.